Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys a very creative technique how to apply a little bit of texture onto a person's face or body. So as you guys can see over here I do have this very rough wall texture on the person's face and I want to show you guys in this tutorial how to do this. Alright so let's get started. First of all what I want to do is basically just go over here press F and get into the full screen mode and move my group down here so we can start from scratch. Okay, F again, get out of that full screen mode and we're going to go over to our texture layer. So basically also just took it through camera raw into Photoshop and it is still a smart object because I want to have it as a smart object today. Okay, I'm going to take this layer now and hold shift and just move it over to our second image here or our main image that we want to work on. Okay, just going to minimize our layer over here and also full screen again so we have a nice platform to work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is basically over here just double click and rename my texture layer to texture and I have my original layer over here. So I can create a duplicate but I think for today's tutorial I'm just going to work on my original layer. Okay, first of all what we're going to do is on the texture layer we want to move and scale that a little bit into the right direction. So I'm just going to take the opacity down a little bit and also just see where I want to apply just this texture to his face. So I wanted to keep his mouth in like a block over here and just get the shapes in here, which looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to change my opacity to 100% again. Now my first step is to actually just change my blending options. So I'm going to go over to my blending options and either use overlay or soft light. I'm going to start with overlay and it looks very hard to me, a lot of saturation. So what I want to do is just change it over to soft light which looks already a little bit better to me. So I'm going to work with soft light today. Okay, so the next step what we're going to do is create a little bit of a fill color on top of that. So go to layer, new fill layer, solid color and hold alt while you click solid color. So we get this new layer window here and it will ask us do you want to clip this to your texture layer? Yes, I want to clip that to my texture layer, so tick this box, use previous layer to create a clipping mask. Okay, so now we're going to have a color picker area over here and it is completely white so what I want to do is just select a random color over here say OK turn off my texture layer double click onto my color palette here and select a rough color from his cheek here okay over here say OK turn on the texture layer and we still have just the color weird okay what you need to do is go again back to your blending options and down here go all the way down to color so this will just be applied to the texture and we only have his skin color now but it's still very saturated so I want to desaturate that a little bit so the next step that I'm going to do is go to my adjustment levels over here and go to hue and saturation hold alt again select that and also clip that to our previous layer say OK and now what you're going to do is just take our saturation all the way down a little bit up a little down almost all the way down so we don't have it too much saturated OK good to go OK next step that we're going to do is just create another adjustment layer but with a little bit of levels so go back to levels hold alt again create again a clipping mask say OK and now we're just going to tweak that a little bit so over here brighten that a little bit uh, actually where yeah, I want to darken that a little bit so I'm going to take my black slider darken that a little bit also my white slider just in a little bit to brighten those highlights a little bit and also take the middle slider and move those down a little bit okay that's all that I'm going to do for that just make this a little bit bigger and we're going to go back next step that we're going to do is just create a little group quickly so select with command all your layers and press command G to put that together in a group and write their texture again okay so we work more constructive and everything is nice and sorted okay keep paths in here sorry I just want to make this a bit bigger okay we're gonna go back to texture and now what we want to do is again create a mask so we can just apply this onto his face so over here hold alt and create a hidden mask again then on the hidden mask take your brush with B also change your brush size a little bit again and with white foreground color 100 opacity let me just change this with X white foreground color 100 opacity we're just going to paint in the texture onto the face and into the areas that we actually want to okay zoom a little bit closer so to zoom out a little bit again so we can paint quicker and now I'm just going to paint really roughly over his face and apply this technique almost everywhere 
Let me just go over here. And also on his shirt. My brush is feathered completely, as you guys can see. Okay, apply this a little bit more. And also down here. Okay, so my next step is again now to just to fine tune and tweak my mask over here. So press X again, black foreground color, and I'm also just going to paint out really roughly the areas on the hair that I don't want to apply. The texture, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer. Also over here a little bit. And over his ear, and obviously on the background, I don't want to apply this texture to the background at all. So I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller. A little bit more. Okay, I want to apply this technique to not to the shirt, so also just take it away from the shirt again. Brush this all the way. You can also brush in your mask nicely, then you don't need to do this step as well. I want to do this step. I just feel more comfortable when I know I'm going once more over my image and just painting it all out nicely. Okay, over here, I don't want to have it on his hair. And also over here, his ear. Okay, now we still have it over here. And is his hair a little bit. Make my brush really small. Okay, I don't want to have it too much on his eyebrows. And I'm just going to go over here. A little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is also take my opacity to 100% again. And also just go over his eyes. Because I don't want this technique to be seen in his eyes as well. This texture, sorry. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger here. And over here. Okay, so next step what we're going to do is just take our opacity, say, to 50%. So we can just brush out a little bit and also press Ctrl Alt again. Feather your brush completely. And what we're going to do is now just very, a little bit, little bit, le very, very subtle. We're going to just brush it away from the eyes a little bit over here and also down here. So I'm basically just playing a little bit with my image and seeing what suits the image and that it looks more real. Also here on the sides a little bit, so it looks more like it's coming from the cheek over here or start from the cheek, from his beard a little bit away. Over here from the necklines a little bit, a little bit down here. A little bit over here, also from the neckline here. A little bit over here. Okay, and that's basically all. Maybe a top a little bit, yes. Okay. And we got it all in. Okay, a little bit on this hair here. Make my brush really small. Okay, so we got that in, and our texture looks a little bit better on the person already. But I still want to add another technique where I just apply a little bit of displacement and also just distort a little bit better to the person. So as we have it all in a group here under texture, I'm going to turn that off and just take my original layer and save that really quickly. So go to File, Save As, and I have a folder ready. Going to save it under Original 1 here. Photoshop, yes, going to save that, replace that, say OK. So I'm basically just saving this one layer with our group underneath, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so next step that we're going to do is turn our texture again on. We're going to go back into texture and back to our texture layer down here. Now it was very important to also keep our smart object to a smart object because we're going to apply a filter technique now and we can always go back again later and tweak that filter technique again. So very important, keep it as a smart object. Okay, go back to filter here. We're going to go back to distort and in here we're going to go to displace. Okay, in displace new window will pop up. First of all, what we're going to say is just horizontal scale 10% and vertical scale 10%. Displacement map, stretch to fit, yes, and undefined areas, also repeat edge pixels. That's okay. We're going to say okay this. Now it's going to ask us where do we or which uh, displacement map we want to choose. So we're going to choose the original file that we just saved. So over here, original one, PSD, yes, open that. And now it's going to displace on that map. And as you guys can see now, the effect has turned in already a little bit. If I want to just turn off our displacement here at the bottom, it has already tweaked our image a little bit. But I think we can actually tweak this a little bit more. So I'm going to double click again on our displacement filter here and also just make this a bit more. So I'm going to say 20% horizontal scale 
and vertical as well 20%. Say OK. Again, choose your displacement map, say Open, and Photoshop will render that for us. And now, as you guys can see, wow, this looks really better than before. This is our before and this is our after. So Photoshop does take a little bit to render this actually. So let us just turn on and now you can actually see the effect. So over here, this texture just goes in a little bit better with your whole shape of the person's face. Especially at the top, you can see how it goes in rounder and it just looks more realistic to me. Okay, so that's basically the first step of just applying this texture to your image. Next step that we're going to do is basically just go on top of our layer here texture. We're going to press Command Alt Shift E and do a master shortcut. Now in the master shortcut, it's still rendering. Now there we got our master shortcut and we're just going to rename that to final, final layer. And on top of that, we're just going to do a little bit of dodge and burning. So with dodging, we're just going to do a little bit of those dodging here in his highlights, which is actually very intense. So I'm going to take that dodge tool a little bit down to exposure, say 10% over here and also feather that brush completely. And now what we're going to do is just in the middle of those areas, we're just going to brighten our texture a little bit over here. And also just apply a little bit more texture on top of our texture. So we're going to just apply a little bit more light to our texture. Okay, a little bit more over here and over there, and we're dodging all of this. Okay, a little bit over here. One, don't want to dodge it too much in there because it is very dark. So under here a little bit, and his eyes also at the top here, and his forehead. Okay, next to his eyes a little bit more. Okay, and now what we're going to do is go back into burn, and now we're just going to zoom in a little bit. And we're just going to burn these edges a little bit on his face. As well, with not a 50% opacity here, we're going to do it with, say, 15. And now just burn those edges a little bit. Make your brush really, really small. And you will have to go over your image just very subtle. And just burn all these edges in here. Okay, over here, especially down here, I want to burn that a little bit more, actually. So it appears a little bit darker. And then uh, underneath his mouth here and also a little bit over here. Here a little bit more. And on his eyes. A little bit there. So that the whole texture just shines through a little bit more. Okay, over here and also at the top. So that you can do this to any texture that you like. Okay, go down a little bit more. So this takes a little bit until you got it done. Not as I'm doing it really rough now. So you should really sit here and do it more carefully. Okay, a little bit more here and there. So just burn those edges a little bit. Bear in mind, I just used 15% opacity, so don't burn it too much, not too hard. Otherwise, it won't look that realistic at all. Okay, over here a little bit more, and also there. Okay, I went over some areas quite a few times now, but I think that will just look a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again. And now, as you guys can see, I'm just going to take this final layer, move it into our texture layer as well, and I'm going to turn it off. That's our before and after. Before and after. Okay, so my next step would most probably be now just to create another master shortcut layer, and then on top of that, do another adjustment levels or hue and saturation and play a little bit more with my image until I'm pretty much really happy with it. Until now, I'm happy and I'm good to this technique. So if you guys still have any questions about this technique, please email me to team at manyphotography.co.a. I'm happy to help you guys with your questions. Now, I still have a small surprise for you guys. If you have any questions or if you have any wishes for the future upcoming tutorials, please put them down below in the comment box and you never know, maybe your tutorial is up next. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something today. My name is Manny and see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.